Sabina is the 2000 Junior European Champion. She is their top athlete here at this competition. You'll see a lot of that mount, but you'll also see a lot of this over the next four years. Into a full twisting somersault, two elements. And one thing that has not changed in the rules is that is still a five-tenth deduction for a fall. Elfie, how many times did we see her do that perfectly since we've been here? Yeah, as I mentioned before, the Romanians take great advantage of their practice time. Very different from the men's practice, I might add. They're constantly doing routine after routine. Now guys, we've sort of said the rules are different, they're changed, they're harder. What exactly has been done? Well, one of the major changes is they've added this component called artistry. There are three-tenths of a point that are up for grabs, and if you aren't elegant, if you're not beautiful, do something a little bit different, then you're not going to get those tenths of a point. The big question is, are the judges actually going to apply that rule, especially the teams like Romania, who are great gymnasts, but maybe sometimes don't have that quality. Yeah, that's exactly true, because they've often been criticized for not having that component in any of the routines. So if the judges stick to their guns and do as the code of points says they should, then many of these routines will not get that extra bonus point. And now we go across the floor here at the Blaisdell Center to American Marie Fjordholm, who probably would have been, oh, I don't know, at the mall or something in Houston, Texas today. Instead, here she is in the midst of competition due to the injury to Crystal Uslak, who remains here to support her team, still uh, icing up. And it was remarkable, Al. She literally got off the plane, got into a car, drove to the arena. She was already dressed in her gym suit. And started running around instantly. She said a quick hello to Marta Caroli, and off she went to practice. And she came and did exactly what this team needed her for. Now, Elfie, what about one vault instead of two? Well, in the women's team competition on day one, they're now performing just one vault. In the other days of competition, it will still be two vaults. And this vault actually helps Team USA quite a bit. Very high start value, 9.7. She's one of the better vaulters that the USA has, so this replacement actually a bump up for Team USA. So that's a job well done for the pinch hitter of the American team. Marie Fjordholm gets a 9-2-2-5. Meanwhile, the struggle for the Romanians will include scores in the eights. Sabina Kojikar, an 8.425. So their problems and those early on of the Chinese have allowed the United States to grab control here in the 2001 Pontiac American Team Cup. The standings include a 1.35 lead over Romania and two points over China. The United States grabbing the lead and a good job of filling in by Marie Fjordholm. Meanwhile, we're enjoying the gymnastics, trying to figure out who's going to be a star three years down the road in Athens. Now, this is an inexact science, but a fun one to participate in. Tim Daggett, who's caught your eye? Uh, Carly Patterson. I mean, she has a quiet confidence, a calmness about her beyond her years and her experience. She is so determined, and she really has all the goods. But to be fair, this entire group of USA athletes, the most talent I've ever seen, actually, in the, I can't even tell you how long. Oh, good news for Team USA. Let's turn to someone who's been very responsible with our sunscreen, mm -hmm. Elfie, who's your international eye. Well, when you look at the Romanian team, let's not forget that they are the Olympic gold medalists, but this particular team is very young. They're all juniors in experience, but the one name is Sabina Kojigar. She is the leader. However, you wouldn't have known that from her balance beam routine. If you ask her if she feels like she's the leader, she'll very shyly look at you and say, oh no, I don't think so. We're all on the same level. <laughs> all right, the United States has a formidable lead. One rotation done. The second coming up in a moment from Honolulu, Hawaii. 2001 Pontiac American Team Cup. Can't learn to win together too early, and the United States did in Syracuse a few months ago, and they're trying to do that again here in Hawaii. Ashley Miles from San Antonio, Texas. Of all the gymnasts here, she is the biggest, the most muscular. 
and being the first athlete up, she really has to set the pace for the entire team. This is a tough job. just did what she was asked to do, hit her routine. A very chatty American team. They sound like the Romanians a little bit. Marta Caroli, who is the national team coordinator for the women's team, said that she's very focused on this group of young athletes. She's actually doing a lot more coaching than she did in the past year. She said the team is very much at the beginning stages and they're really far from being perfect. Anytime you're flipping forward, it's a blind landing. Handles that quite well. 8.9 for Ashley Miles. The United States into the second rotation with a very big lead. The Romanians were in second place, but 1.3 is a lot. They've got to start this comeback now if they want to create one. Andrea Omeano. She was actually the alternate for the 2000 Olympic team for the Romanians and also the 1999, the head of delegation said, the eternal alternate here. One thing that is very obvious with the Romanians is they can certainly tumble. And just like we mentioned on the balance beam, that artistic component of the routines is something that they're going to have to work on. So does she get those three tenths out? That's, that's a subjective call by the judges. Yeah, I don't, I don't give them, that's for sure. Not all three of them, that's for sure. Meanwhile, we have Ashley's everywhere for the United States. This is Ashley Kelly from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Her coach, Christy Kraft, said that she went to the training camp, had a great competition, and then towards the end got very ill and has just started to recover, but it really, really made things a lot more difficult for her. One thing that she has inside of her is a competitive spirit. She is such a fighter. We saw that at the American Cup earlier this year. Uh, Tim, a few moments ago, you spoke about the depth of this American team, and you compared it to historically what you've seen. How about giving me a little bit more on that? Well, single generation, this is the best group that I've ever seen for the USA. They have not just the group that's here, but a whole bunch of tiny little juniors who are tremendous. Watch this dismount, though. Double layout. That's her coach, Christy Kraft. Normal, Ashley. Normal. Good job, honey. There's Marta in the background. Only normal. Good job. Good. Now what's that? Thank you. Okay. Hey. She has been normally very close to the bar on her dismount. Did a couple of them that were a little bit scary. This one a little close as well. You see, there's an extra mat that they are allowed to land on. And she actually is so close, she lands just barely on it and then hops back to the bar. That's close. And again, this new code of points is making it very difficult for these gymnasts to score. 875 for Ashley Kelly of the United States. Meanwhile.